today we have to discuss about magnetic properties okay in the magnetic properties before going to the magnetic properties first we have to know about the magnet so what mean by magnet magnet is nothing but a, a material a material having attracting and repulsive property <coughs> is called a magnet so generally you have to consider a one material and this material attracts the some other materials or repels some other materials okay that property of this material you have to call it as a magnet okay generally you have to consider this one as a magnet and this magnet having the two poles north and south okay so surrounding this poles the magnetic field lines are present these are the magnetic field lines based on this magnetic field lines okay we have to study about this some parameters of this magnets okay that parameters are nothing but magnetization magnetic flux magnetic induction magnetic intensity okay we'll study it later first we have to know about the magnet so the magnet is made up of a ore like mag magnetite okay magnetite it is the ore of the magnet it is nothing but the iron oxide so we have to take it as ap3 ap2o3 <coughs> it is made up of a magnetite ore this is one of the iron or okay and next this magnets this magnets we have to classify it into two types one is the natural magnet and the one is the artificial magnets okay so in the artificial magnets we have to classified under two one is the permanent magnets under one is the temporary magnets okay so then the magnets we have to classify natural and artificial magnets natural means naturally you got in the nature those magnets you have to call it as natural magnet for example you have to take it as a earth is one of the natural magnet and artificial magnets in the artificial magnets we have to take permanent and temporary magnets so the uh, natural magnets are always permanent magnets but in the artificial we have to create the two types of magnets one is the permanent and the one is the temporary magnets for example uh, for temporary magnets if you take a current carrying conductor okay so when the current is flowing inside this conductor at that time this conductor behaves as a magnet okay at that time this conductor behaves as a magnet when you off the current at that time it behaves as a normal magnet means it is having temporary magnetic field surround it okay this this uh, magnet you have to call it a temporary magnet and permanent magnets we have considered as a bar magnet as a temporary magnets it is made up of a iron ore okay and next we have to study about we have to study some parameters I have to study about some parameters of magnet okay so 
some parameters so the first one is the you have to take it as a magnetization what mean by magnetization magnetization means it is nothing but a magnetic intensity uh, it is the degree which magnetic field can magnetize a material means if you take a one material you take this material in a magnetic field you take this material in a magnetic field here on magnetic field is there you have to take this material in this magnetic field at that time this material is changes as a magnet this material changes as a magnet so the degree of change in the magnet means this magnet can change into the magnet okay uh, sorry this material can change into the magnet when you take into the magnetic field so how much it will be changes that one, that thing you have to call it as a magnetization okay and also we have to define the magnetization the net the net magnetic the net magnetic moment the net magnetic moment for init value the net magnetic moment per unit volume is called as a magnetization so net magnetic moment you have to take it as m so net sorry net magnetic moment magnetization is m magnetization is denoted as m so m equal to m net divided by uh, magnetic moment per unit volume so m net divided by phi so SI in of top magnetization you have to take it as ampere ampere per meter this is the SI in of magnetization so we got the idea of the magnetization and the next we have to take the next concept is <coughs> magnetic flux magnetic flux so magnetic flux is denoted as a psi and the number of magnetic field lines magnetic flux means the number of magnetic field lines passing through a given surface they passing through a given closure surface you have to consider this one as the given closure surface in this surface the number of magnetic field lines are phases okay so this one we have to call it as a magnetic flux magnetic flux means the number of magnetic field lines passing through a closed surface passing through a closed surface so this is the psi magnetic flux equal to so the number of magnetic field lines passes through a passes through a closure surface you have to take it as so b is the constant and in double integration of ds you have to take it as a area means the small small area adding the small small area you get the total area so this is our magnetic magnetic flux expression so si in it is assign it is Weber have to take that as assign it is a Weber and next is the magnetic induction magnetic induction or you have to take it as magnetic flux density magnetic flux density okay so the magnetic induction or magnetic flux density is nothing but uh, if you consider the magnetic field at any point so here you have to consider a one material in that material you have to take it as a one point b okay so the number of field lines 
per unit area means the number of field lines on this area you have to take it as a magnetic induction of magnetic flux density called it is a magnetic flux density so magnetic induction or magnetic flux density is nothing but the number of field lines passing through a per unit area at that point at at a point b okay is called as magnetic induction or magnetic flux density here this one is the clear okay and the next next one is the magnetic intensity okay so magnetic intensity is nothing but it is defined as a ratio of ratio of the ratio field ratio of the magnetic field in in free space to the in free space to the permeability permeability of free space okay so h is denoted as a magnetic intensity so magnetic intensity is denoted as it is the ratio of the magnetic field in a free space so magnetic field in free space you have to take it as b naught and the permeability of free space is mu naught okay and si in it is ampere for ampere for meter and the magnetic intensity is nothing but a magnetization okay so also we have to define as the degree to which the magnetic field can magnetize a material okay so the degree to which or the degree to which magnetic field can magnetic field can magnetize a material means if you take a material towards the magnet at that time this material changes to the you take a, this material towards the one magnet towards a magnet at that time this material changing as a 